Grandpa in my pocket. This is me, Jason Mason. And this is my house, where I live with my mum, dad, sister and Grandpa. <laughs> and today, Grandpa was really excited because we were going to Miss Smiley's cafe. <laughs> the cafe? We're going to the cafe? Yes, Grandpa. Yes, hurry up now. We were all off to Miss Smiley's cafe. Mum, Jemima, Grandpa, me. Oh, and Grandpa's sister, Great Aunt Loretta. Get a move on, Grandpa. I'll bring you back something yummy, Wolfie. Grandpa, Jason, come on. So we all got into Campo and off we went. And Grandpa said... Are we nearly there? And Mum said... Not yet, Grandpa. And Grandpa said... I'm going to have a double chocolate chip sundae and a sponge finger. Two sponge fingers. And Aunt Loretta said... You'll be sick, you will. And Grandpa said... No, I won't. Oh, I love Miss Smiley's Cafe. What Grandpa didn't know was that lots of people who loved Miss Smiley's Cafe would be there today because today was the day of Mr Crump Grumble's visit. Mr Crump Grumble? He's the taste tester from the town hall. He's coming to taste Miss Smiley's food to see if she deserves a gold star. Five gold stars for Miss Smiley, that's what I say. Yeah. Miss Smiley is called Miss Smiley because she's always smiling. She has the biggest smile in Sunny Sands. And what's more, she makes the most delicious treats ever. Paradise pineapple pizza and tropical smoothies and cherry chunks and the yummiest ice cream sundaes you've ever tasted. Her cafe is the best cafe in the world. But today, she wasn't looking like this. She was looking like this. Mr Crumb Grumble has closed down more cafes than Grandpa's had sponge fingers. This is the best cafe in the world, this is. Thank you, Grandpa. We'll soon sort out Mr. Crump Grumble. <gasps> oh, you will, will you? I am Cyril Crump Grumble. And I do the sorting out around here, not you, you funny little old man. Now, let me see. Where should I start? Oh. He's dreadful. Miss Smiley is going to need our help. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa. Not here. Somebody will see you. You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get to put all kinds of magical things. Catch me if you can. He can get into my car and make it go. Gordon, my toy seagull. He can fly off in my plane. Or he could just run for all he's worth. And this time, he'd run. And I had no idea where he was. And then, Mr Crump Grumble said... The Paradise Pineapple Pizza isn't pineapple enough. <sighs> oh, he says it isn't pineapple enough. The Tropical Smoothie isn't tropical enough. <gasps> he says it's not tropical enough. And, oh, torture my taste buds. The cherry chunks only have one cherry on the top! I have to announce that this cafe is a disgrace! I'm going to close it down! No, 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 no. Suddenly I saw where Grandpa was hiding. But before I could do anything... Ah! A rat! There's a rat! A rat under a cloth! He's ah! ah! seen a rat! Ah! Where are you, you little...
little beast. I'll show you coming in this castle. Suddenly I saw the little beast. And then he ran. Where are you? That'll see him off. Yes! <laughs> Mr. Crump Grumble, you are my hero! Yes. But Mr. Crump Grumble was not a hero. The rat was still on the loose. <gasps> Mr. Crump Rumble heard it land. It's back! It's back! It's back! All it's right. Back. Back. Where are you, you little monster? But only I knew where the little monster was. I needed an idea. And fast. It's behind that flower pot! <laughs> Before I knew it, Grandpa had jumped into the food counter. It's, it's gone under that table! When I looked back, Grandpa had made the pineapple pizza more pineapple-y. It's behind the curtain! And he'd made the tropical smoothie more tropical. It went in the cupboard! I'll get you this time, you little whisker twitcher. But the little whisker twitcher had been dealing with the cherry chunks. Get down, Grandpa! Quick! Grandpa splashed through the mayonnaise and squelched through the jam and skidded across the chocolate. That must have scared him off. Now, it's tasting time. And quick as a flash, Grandpa found a hiding place. Where's Grandpa? It's probably in the... Great Aunt Loretta won't say the word toilet out loud because she thinks it's rude. Feeling sick, I shouldn't wonder. I had to let Mum believe Grandpa was in the toilet, even though I knew he was in a sausage and egg baguette. And I had a job to do. Look, Mr Crump Grumble! The pizza is much more pineapple-y. And the smoothie is much more tropical. <laughs> and oh, the cherry chunks are now plastered with cherry's deep joy. Oh, Jason. Of course, I had to pretend I'd done it. Things are getting better in here. Now, I just have to decide what to try first. And I was thinking, please let it not be the sausage and egg baguette. Not the sausage and egg baguette. The sausage and egg baguette! The bad news was that Grandpa was in the baguette. The worst news was... But would you like it toasted, Mr Crumb no! Rumble? It's much better cold. Ah, good advice. I like this boy. <laughs> would you like it cut in half? No! It's much better whole. Quite right. Now, what's the best way to eat a baguette? Um, start at one end and work your way down to the other. But hmm. everyone must close their eyes for the first bite. Come on, do as the boy says. Everyone closed their eyes and I held my breath. Mr Crump Grumble took a bite and yes, Grandpa shot out of the baguette like a cork out of a bottle. Off came his cap, and there he was, as good as new. Mmm, yum. Very unusual. Uh, mayonnaise, jam and chocolate. Open your eyes. Delicious. <laughs> what have you been up to, Grandpa? Catching a rat, of course. <gasps> Grandpa caught the rat! <laughs> so, does Miss Smiley's cafe get five gold stars, Mr Crump Grumble? But of course, this is without doubt the best cafe in the world. Oh, yes! yes! I knew we could do it, Jason. Teamwork, that's what it is. Yep. Oh.
Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> so we all got into Campo and off we went. Knowing that Miss Smiley's Cafe was still the best cafe in the world. Later, back at home, Grandpa gave Beowulf a cherry chunk. Which was naughty, because Beowulf isn't really allowed treats. We all need treats, Jason. I certainly do. I caught a rat, remember? I'll pop your shoes in the bedroom, Grandpa. They were filthy. If I didn't know better, I'd think you'd been paddling in chocolate. <laughs> <laughs>